So I've been working on this Strat style guitar for a couple weeks now and uh, it's got a quilted maple top, swamp ash body, and double bindings. And it's time to dye the top and I'm going to be using some Angelus leather dyes to dye this thing and I thought that I would show you how I do this. But first things first, I need to dye this entire thing black make this grain pop. So I'm going to do that. Get some gloves on here. Now I'm just using an old t-shirt here that I've cut up a really small piece. I'm going to wad up and I've got this Angelus jet black leather dye and I'm just going to get a little bit here on the cloth. and rub it in. Now this leather dye does penetrate the wood pretty good. And I'm just going in a kind of a circular motion here to work that pigment down into the wood. It's gonna get two coats. First coat here is just to make sure I get everything Nice and covered. I can already tell it's definitely going to need a second coat. That looks pretty good. But let's see. Let's go for one more coat here. Make sure this black really sinks down into that quilt because I want that quilt to really pop because I'm going to be doing a kind of a fire burst, a little bit of a DIY burst. Go from yellow to orange to red and mix it all together. Get a nice little flame on this quilt. This quilt is just super pretty. I need just a little bit more on the rag. Now I'm not too worried about the binding here. I'm going to be scraping that binding after the fact so I'm just making sure I don't go crazy and get the dye running off the side. But this is looking really good. Nice and black. All right. So I'm gonna let this sit for about 24 hours and then I will come back and hit it with some sandpaper, some probably 320, and then uh, we'll get into the burst. It's been about 24 hours and it's time to sand the top. I've got my random orbit sander here and I'm going to just sand the top really lightly with 320 grit to reveal that grain. <sighs> All right, that's looking really nice. Left a little bit more black on the edges so that I can kind of feather the color out to the black edges and then have that nice white binding pop. Really liking how this looks. I, uh, you know, I was a little apprehensive to just put black right over the top and I think this is gonna turn out real good. All right, it's time for color. So I'm gonna get the Angelus leather dye. I'm using red yellow, orange, and maybe go back to the black to help fade in to the edges. All right, let me get that set up. I've got my dyes ready now and off camera, I actually wiped the top down with naphtha just to remove any dust, dirt, leftover black pigment that was just hanging around the top. 
and it's flashing off just a little bit here, but I'm going to go ahead and get started with red. Now, I've done this on one other guitar, and red, it was a little scary to start with, but let's go. So I'm just going to start on the edges. And just act like I'm painting. That red on that black looks really good. Actually, this whole guitar red would look pretty cool. Get a little bit more on the rag. Looking good. Let's do the whole horn. Very nice. Save that rag there. Now let's go for the orange. Let's put these caps back on because I don't want to spill this. All right, got a new t-shirt rag, a little bit of orange here, and we will just go up into that red. That looks good. All right, let's go a little more orange. Go into the red, push it out to the red. Trying to get a little more blend. That's looking good. All right, we'll save that orange. Let's close this back up so I don't spill it. Now for the yellow in the middle. Another clean rag. Wad it up. And yellow on. Right in the middle. Right. Let's pour a little bit more yellow on here. And let's push this yellow across the whole body. It's like a wash coat. I'm picking up a lot of yellow. And orange, I think I'm gonna push some, some of this orange into the yellow. That yellow is a little too yellow for my taste here. I want it to look a little bit more like fire. That's looking good. And push a little more yellow out to this horn. Although most of that's going to be underneath the pit guard. I still want it to be a little bit more, a little more orange. Come back with the orange now. Go back to the orange dye. Here, let's, let's keep this clean. Close the yellow up. Open the orange. Get a little bit more. And let's just kind of do a whole wash coat. I'm going to wad this up. Just push it out to the edges. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's looking good. A little more fiery. I like it. I like it. All right. And that's that. So let me take my gloves off here. Now, just need to let it sit for another 24 hours. And then I'll hit it with some sanding sealer to lock in this color on top and it'll be ready for lacquer on the sides and back, which is gonna be black. And then a whole lot of clear coats. So appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, think about doing that. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.